Hi, my name is Maria and today I'm going to show you a super, super easy fudge recipe. All you need is 12 ounces of chocolate chips, usually that comes in one package, and 14 ounces of sweetened condensed milk. You can find that, um, usually comes in a can, your local grocery store. So what I've done is I have a pot of water boiling on the stove and I placed a bowl over just to kind of create a double boiler here. Um, you don't need too much heat for the chocolate chips to melt them, you don't want to burn them. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to pour the chocolate chips into the bowl. And I started that boiling and then I dropped it to like a medium heat just to kind of create enough heat to, to melt them. So just going to kind of mix that up. You want to keep it moving. You don't want to burn the chocolate because it can be kind of temperamental. And I'm using semi-sweet chocolate chips. You can use... Um, milk chocolate or butterscotch, anything you really like. It's totally up to you. This is just my favorite because I don't like it too, too sweet. So we're just going to let this melt completely. And once we do that, we're going to add the condensed milk. So the chocolate is completely melted through. And now you can turn off the heat. it all in and all you want to do is take the condensed milk pour that in and just kind of fold it to slowly incorporate the condensed milk with the chocolate chips And that's pretty much it. I mean, you can add some walnuts if you wanted to. Um, I don't really prefer them, so I just keep it simple with the chocolate. But again, you could use butterscotch chips, anything you want, vanilla. And that's it. And over here, I just have a small, um, I think it's about a you know five by eight deep dish um, lined with parchment paper. Just makes it easier to pop out once it's cooled. So. Just going to drop that in. It'll kind of just settle in, spread a little bit, the spatula. So we're just going to put this in the fridge for about six hours or overnight, depending what time at night you do it. And once that's all cooled, we can take it out and cut it. So we've pulled it out of the fridge. All you do is you pull up the parchment paper, peel it off, cut it into about, you know, inch, inch and a half size cubes, and you're ready to serve. That's it.